popularity is not it's not spiritual it's not there's no physical properties mental properties of it what's the point of it <laughs> I mean you, you see how Miley Cyrus changed you know, I'm talking about the popularity got to her head I'd rather be known by five people than millions don't you think that maybe it becomes an addiction itself that you then you have to feed and you feel like you have to do outrageous things or whatever to then get that attention and get that that fix you know what I mean of course of course because you just want to feed you want to feed the lion more fish if it gets bigger and bigger but if it, but then you poison the lion with the wrong fish and it doesn't act like itself you see what I'm saying I mean Miley Cyrus she ate the wrong fish <laughs> she got she ate a lot of the wrong fish I mean well was, but so that's <clears throat> what I mean like you say I would rather be known by five people than a million but really how how uh, often do a million people actually really know you anyway? You know, they, that's why I say they know of you. Like, they, they know of Miley Cyrus, you know, and what she projects, but do they really know her, right? That's what I mean, because, I mean, it's easier so, to express yourself to five people than so the, a million. Right, so the Dal Dalai Lama actually said... Um, <clears throat> The, one of the greatest human needs is to be known and understood. Yeah. So I was just thinking, though, that like <clears throat> when you don't feel that you have someone that knows you, and you may only, you know, really need one person. You know, you say, I'd really be known by five people than a million. <clears throat> and when you don't have that feeling that someone actually knows you, then you may be, uh, you know, apt to find that in the the the, uh, the quest for popularity because you're lacking that one person who actually knows you and so then you're it becomes an addiction to um, to get a, a attention which isn't necessarily actually knowing right yeah because if you don't know honestly know because if you lose the one person one person out of ten people Let's see, if you lose the one person that you know that actually knows you, knows the physical and mental you, and knows your opportunities and what you want to do with your life, she just goes away or moves or something, you're stuck. And then all these other kids don't like the way you're acting, then you just automatically turn over to the way they act. And then you try to impress, and that's how it goes. That's honestly what happened to me when I moved. And it's not an easy thing to do, but... Tell me more about <clears throat> the two paths. All right, two paths. Um, one path could lead you to the person that you truly are, the soul, your spirit, your opportunity. The notice... Like the spirit notices you, it praises your body, it understands who and what it is, the spirit is found, but in the wrong path you turn to drugs and violence and just anything there is to survive you, you become unwanted, feeling unwanted and that's what people think of you because of the way you act. And that could also be a relation to the first path because people don't know how to take the real you sometimes, and that's what turns you. So, in relation to what I told you about the kids in, in South Dakota now, um, tell me what you feel about that. I honestly feel like they're, they're lost. They need to be shown a way out of the maze that they haven't been put through. They're, they've been stuck in the dead ends for about years throughout their life. They just don't know where to turn to. And they need a mentor or a tutor or 
<laughs> that human Christian mis missionary to lead them throughout their life, to make them feel like they're wanted and religiously and spiritually greeted upon being happy and being shown their, that they can choose what they want to do. They can, because their environment they're, they've been put through didn't show them that the beauty because of other people's visions and the way that they took it. They thought that that's the way that the world should have been. It should always be. So then they turn to suicide and drugs and sometimes alcohol. And they just, that's the only way to know where to turn. And that's all I have to say about that. But there's beauty all around, right? So they really just need someone to help them to open their senses to the that beauty that surrounds them, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Alex. <laughs> you were very wise. Yes, there are two bars you can go by, but it'll all run. There's still time.